If you're at all like me, you wear the most sensible footwear on earth, you occasionally get excited about the release of a big name game title, you have at some point in the past heard a friend complain about aforementioned big name game using the same worn out old engine, or conversely have encountered the massive hype train that usually accompanies a shiny new engine. But these overly enthusiastic game journalists and downer type friends often neglect to explain what exactly a game engine is. So here we go. Firstly, they provide a rendering engine which allows designers to pair their in-house made 2D images with 3D wireframes to create fully actualized models. Then, usually one or several application programming interfaces such as the upcoming DirectX 12 and Vulkan are used to furnish the rendering engine with efficient access to a system's processing and graphics hardware. Secondly, game engines must provide well, everything else as well. There's the obvious stuff like physics or collision detection engines, which account for general movement and the interaction between models, like, you know, characters and the ground, as well as the stuff that you might not have considered before, like realistic lighting effects with realistically bouncing light rays, realistic diffusion through different materials, and even crazy stuff like the scattering of light beneath the surface of a model's skin to give him natural looking rosy cheeks, for example. And of course, something, thirdly, has to keep our game subjects marching perpetually along the horizon, so AI engines are also so pivotal to give our characters the ability to create Skynet inside of our... No, just kidding. Uh, usually an AI engine is more like a complex arrangement of behavior trees. But anyway, the point is that a game engine is the sciency programming skeleton that supports the game designers and lets them focus on the flesh, you know, the story and gameplay elements of their title. Instead of spending countless hours locked away in a room focused on, like, the sound... Oh yeah, don't forget sound and physics of, like, bouncing balls. <laughs> okay, so now that we have an idea of what game engines are for, the next obvious question is, where do they come from? Well, son, let me tell you, when a man loves a woman and... No, sorry, just, just kidding. So simply put, they come from, well, a lot of money. There are open source game engines out there, but for the most part, no one is building game engines just to help a brother out. And there are a couple of main reasons for a developer to build one. Number one, your company, uh, let's say Epic, makers of Unreal Engine, or Valve, the makers of Source Engine, decides to focus on licensing this engine technology to smaller developers rather than trying to make every huge blockbuster game from scratch, or even the third episode of a blockbuster game. Number two, your company has the resources to absorb the multi-year investment into engine building to avoid paying out a percentage on future game sales. Blizzard would be a great example of this. Or number three, your company just can't find the right technology in a prepackaged engine and needs to build their own, whether they like it or not. So that's it in a nutshell. Achieving optimal cost efficiency and then, in some cases anyway, allocating those extra resources to other parts of production like paying these guys to do voice acting, something I'm sure we all appreciate. And you know what else I appreciate? FreshBooks. It is the online accounting tool designed for freelance workers or small businesses. So maybe you or someone you know. It makes invoicing, getting paid, and tracking your hours and expenses easier. The little details about cash flow are all in one place so you know where you stand. And this is great. It shows a full history of each invoice, allowing you to check if your client, well, you can send it to the client first. You can check if they viewed it, and then you can actually have them pay it right through FreshBooks. Woo! Collecting money just got easier. And if you're your own boss, well, Give it a try because FreshBooks offers a free trial at freshbooks.com slash techwiki. So if you're your own boss, use the tools that make you feel like a boss. And oh, don't forget to enter techquiki in the how did you hear about us section, by the way. 
So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, well, you know what to do. If you disliked it, well, you know what to do there, too. If you have a comment with suggestions for future Fast as Possibles, that's uh, down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And also check out our other channels. We've got some pretty good stuff coming out on Channel Super Fun lately, including one where you will see multiple members of Linus Media Group eat bugs. Yes, that will happen. Was it fun? Well, you'll have to find out.